It's about time for the second Iron Man video. Um, this time we're going to be hunting another relic, but we need to get to 50 runecrafting first. I also had more runecrafting footage, but I have no fucking idea what happened to it, so um, we have what we have, I guess. Okay, 49 runecrafting. One more level. I've been in here a long time. I'm ready to get the fuck out of here, dude. And there we go. 50 runecrafting. And there's only one more thing to do now that we have 50. I should also mention, I got about 1k rune span points while doing this, so we're just gonna save those for later. Now it's time for that one more thing. Uh, it's time to enter the runecrafting guild for the first time, so uh, let's do that. Click on the portal. And we are in, baby. Now I have access to the runecrafting guild to purchase the pouch we need for the relic. But we now also have access to Vizwax, so that's handy, but uh, we'll do that later. We're gonna trade Wizard Korvac. And the giant one is what we need for the relic, so we'll buy that. Might as well buy a large pouch too while we're here. I went ahead and looted all the chests in the Star Lodge cellar at the Infernal Source dig site just to kick it off. I used these two items and got some archaeology XP. So now it was time to get my archaeology level to 36 for the relic we are actually hunting here. 32 archaeology, not a bad start. The Threads of Fate is what we are after, and as you can see, you need 36 archaeology for it. Time to restore our first artifact, the Fulent Wine Goblet. I probably butchered the shit out of that. And our second artifact, the Hookah Pipe. There we go, 33 archaeology. This skill definitely takes a while unless you're restoring artifacts. Here's another artifact we need. Let's restore this disorder painting. And let's restore this crust of Dagon. Oh, and we got 34 archaeology off that. Pretty fucking sweet. Okay, so now I'm adding two out of the three Crest of Dagons I need for the fireplace to access the Dungeon of Disorder. And here's the final Crest of Dagon we need for the fireplace. Now let's restore that. And now we can finalize the fireplace. but we need one more Crest of Dagon for the collection we are actually doing. 35 archaeology, one more level to our goal. I'm going to put these lamps from the Christmas Cracker in the farming. Which got us the 24. Here's the final Crest of Dagon we need. So let's restore that. Now it's time to enter the Dungeon of Disorder for the first time. And doing so gave us 1300 XP and got us to our goal of 36 archaeology, which now we have the level we need to get all the artifacts for the collection. All right, we got a greater demon mask. That's one out of three masks we need here. Now we got a lesser demon mask. That's two out of three masks we need. Now we just need the imp mask. Let's restore the greater demon mask. Thirty-seven archaeology. Let's go. Someone said grats. We'll say thanks with a smiley. And here's the imp mask. Now we have all the masks we need. So let's restore the lesser demon mask. All right, thirty-eight archaeology now. 
So this is where I fucked up. I was like really happy to finally be done and have all the artifacts I needed and did not notice which mask was highlighted. I needed to do the imp one and it did another greater demon. So, you know. So after doing more archaeology for the imp mask materials, it was time to finish the masks off finally. Which now meant we only had two artifacts left. 39 archaeology, let's go. Order of disrobes, now we just need the dagger and we are done. Let's restore the robes. Now we have the Ritual Dagger, which also requires a ruby to restore, by the way. Now let's restore the dagger. And we also got 40 archaeology right at the end. That's awesome. Now we are going to go turn them all in, get the Abyssal Thread, which we need to create the Relic. So this asshole picked a fight with me right after my combo ended, so, you know, killed him. Got a Constitution level after, though. 55 construction off the Christmas cracker. Okay, so now we combine the abyssal thread we just got with the giant pouch we bought earlier at the runecrafting guild to create the actual relic threads of fate. When we use it with the monolith, we'll unlock the pouch protector relic power. And as always, let's use the relic with the monolith. And we unlock the pouch protector, which when using runecrafting pouches, they'll never degrade, which is real nice to have on an iron man. Okay, so now we have to unharness the relic power we got in the last video to make room for this one. And now we have the new one active and ready to go. Okay, so I was going to end it right here, but uh, something crazy happened. Look what we got on the fucking Iron Man. A fucking token! We got the present sack from the Christmas cracker. That's pretty hype. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed my second Iron Man video, and I will see you guys in the next one.